I like you so much that I want to do. Oh! Oh, my heart. What? Um, a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her and Kiyoshi needs a hand. Hey, you looking for something in there? Ah, uh, okay, I'm not saying that. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the person stands. Okay then. I mean, I didn't think there was anything to be ashamed of, but maybe I should stay quiet, I guess. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feeling. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Fulbert. Consider this a lesser don't judge a book. Okay. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colourful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Ah. Don't just stand there. Uh... Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signalling me to sit. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this? Uh, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, uh, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series? Hey, are you paying attention? Huh? I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Hmm, kind of similar maybe? Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Oh, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. That's true. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, hmm. I think this is supposed to say never. Like, I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. 
I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. That's not okay. Holy crap, okay. Um, does she get beat up at home? At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? <laughs> oh, she had a little tooth. Did you see the tooth? Like a little... Oh, that was cute. Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. And it goes on and on and on. Time passes. I can tell. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh, it looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Her hey! What the heck? Uh. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? What the heck is going on? Natsuki, are you okay? Uh. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Mm. She doesn't even finish a sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Fulbert. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. What? Hmm. That is not normal, okay? I don't know how to process these things. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. What? She turns into a glitch whenever she's hungry? What? Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? What the heck? Oh no, okay. I guess I'll go talk to Natsuki then. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, yeah, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Oh, eh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. At least she isn't glitching out anymore. Like Monica said, uh, well I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh, so in other words, you're saying you liked it? Uh, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ah, uh, you're so... You're just... You... Uh, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh. Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Hmm. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I've read this one before, I think. Cool. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. 
Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Yep, like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. Ah, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humour her with that last comment. I don't really care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud then I won't take that away from her. I just realised that horrible image is gone, thankfully. Okay, let's go talk to Yuri. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, so sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ooh, ah, so it's that bad. No, did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yep, Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a little while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I'm pretty sure we've gone through the majority of this before, so I'm just gonna kind of skip it. So I've read this one as well, not gonna go over that. Okay, and finally, Monica. Hello! Hi, Fulbert. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Huh. <laughs> Well, don't worry, Fulbert. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like it, Fulbert. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Huh. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Oh, <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. <gasps> She'll cling to you like a puppy. Wow. Okay. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her mo- Oh my god. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnutrition. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. What the heck? Why would you say that? That is not a good thing. I don't really know what to think about this game. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, do you want to read my poem? I'm not sure anymore, Monica. Okay, go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll read your poem, I guess. Hole in the wall. I've read this one as well. That's fine. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. 
That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines, yep. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this... Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. If you just move your hand and go with the flow, that's my advice. Okay, thanks for listening. Cool. For you. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Oh yeah, I remember this interaction. Ah. Okay, so Yuri's is fancy, Natsuki's is cute. Yep, I'm just gonna skip through this little fight thing. Mm-hmm. Monica liked it and Fulbert did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ah, uh, that's not what I, uh, you, you just, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Fulbert appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. When did I say that? Huh, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon- Oh my god. Wow. Ooh, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Wait, what- What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, that's my life- Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for somebody in middle age to comprehend, see? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, you should stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. If you think you can counterbalance your toxic- Oh jeez, what? Oh my god, okay. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. What? Oh, my bad. You. You already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Fulbert hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, suddenly, you returns towards me. Suddenly, you returns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Fulbert, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How? Whoa! Whoa! What's the question? Oh no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. Do I have to choose quickly? I don't know. This is really intimidating. Okay. Natsuki accused Yuri of cutting herself. Judging by that situation with the poster and making whatever the banners. And she had a knife? That's possible. If I go with Natsuki, Yuri might do something? Kinda bad? Oh no, but I wanted to go for Natsuki. I don't know. I don't know who to go with. I don't know who to go with. Oh, I might regret this. I'm gonna go with Yuri. Oh, Natsuki? Yuri? 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 Natsuki? Monica? Uh, hi! Oh, the ambience. Um... Oh, Monica. Um, hey, Fulbert. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, 
If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Hmm. Oh, she's crying! No! She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Uh, well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Oh my goodness. Oh, where is this going? Oh. Where is this going, Fulbert? Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Uh, anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Oh, oh. Is Yuri scared of Monica? Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Uh, it kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not like that. It's not that, uh, I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Fulbert. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice then, do I? Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble, but... I what is going on with this game? Oh my god, okay. I still kind of want to go with Natsuki. Maybe? Yeah, there is something quite sinister going on with both of these, I think. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Kawaii. Bunny pleasure. Oh, strawberry. Rainbow. Sunset. Oh, no. Summer. Daydream. Anime. Holiday. Mm, happiness. Hair. Nightgown. Mm, nibble. Clumsy. I'm a click. Uh, is, is that Yuri? Okay then. Oh, um, is that so? Is that Sayori? What was with that? What the heck? I'm so scared. Oh my god. I don't want to screw things up. This is crazy. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there. Hmm, this was a long episode, but holy moly, things went down. Jeez. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this very disturbing episode. Remember to subscribe if you would like to see more. If you have any comments, uh, <laughs> either about this game or any suggestions of what to do after I disturb myself too much to continue playing, then please leave them below. Much appreciated. So, I will see you next time, guys. Bye!